Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm Itzi Pfeffer, CTO and co-founder at iMedis AI. So about four years ago, my father did a CT scan uh, after a procedure done in his heart, just to make sure that the procedure went well. And the radiology report stated that everything is okay, the patient can go home. About two years later, they reread the CT scan just to find out that there was a two and a half centimeter lesion on his right kidney that was missed in the initial interpretation. Luckily for us, it was a very slow progressing cancer, so no harm was done, but this could have easily have been the difference between early stage detection to late stage detection. So what we have here actually is a patient doing a CT scan for one clinical reason and a missed opportunity for early stage cancer detection. Now, early stage cancer detection is crucial because even though there's huge progress in cancer treatment, still the most important factor by far for patient survivability is how early the cancer is detected. Early cancer detection has a much better rate of survivability than late stage cancer. And missing findings by, uh, in, in, in CT scans is something quite common. In over 6% of all CT scans, there is a finding that requires follow-up according to protocol that was, was either not mentioned or misdiagnosed in the report. Now, why does this happen? Radiologists are highly professional, well-trained physicians. They know exactly what they're doing. The problem is, is that they just don't have the time to do, to do a good enough job. Every year, more and more CTs are being done, and every year there are more and more images in each CT as technology uh, evolves. But the number of radiologists stays more or less in a steady state. So if, let's say, to read a CT scan thoroughly, you need about 20 minutes, they actually have seven minutes. So what they do is they focus on what they were asked. They focus on the reason for study. So if it's a cardiac patient, the radiologist will focus on the cardiovascular system. That will take about five minutes and they have ten, two more minutes to look at all the rest. That's surely not enough time to thoroughly examine uh, the CT scan that has a huge amount of data and sometimes very important findings fall in the attentional blind spots of the radiologist. So this is where we come in. We developed an AI platform that's built of two layers of technology. The first layer is deep learning vision analysis algorithms that analyze the images and detect these early stage cancer and cardiovascular findings. And we detect these findings very accurately, but that's not enough because these findings are not, are not that rare. So if you have a system detecting these findings and alerting the radiologist every single time a finding is detected, this is gonna overload the radiologist with a lot of redundant data because in the majority of the cases, they do detect the findings. So it means that let's say 80% of the time they get the findings, sometimes it's very obvious things that with their eyes closed they can detect. And you have a system alerting, so again, it's like, it's like the reverse sensor beeping all the time. I can see the wall, stop beeping. So we added another layer of technology enabling us to augment the radiologist and help them when they really need us. And they need us when something fell in a blind spot. And this is why we added a technology layer analyzing the radiology report as it's being written. When the radiologist is ready to sign the report and go over to the next case, before that happens, the report is sent to our system and in real time, we analyze the text. So we already finished analyzing the CT study before the radiologist even came to interpret the case. And now we analyze the report, and only in case of discrepancy between what there are in the images and the report, we send the real-time alert. The radiologist can click on the pop-up window and see that and decide whether they would like to change the report accordingly. So we run a large um, clinical trial at UC San Diego and over 5,000 CTs with our POC platform that has cl uh, currently two clinical indications. Over these CTs, chest CTs of all kinds, all different protocols, different clinical indications. We didn't put any filter on it. And we saw that we managed to detect 200 cases that were missed previously by the radiologist. This is 4% of the total population that had one of these two indications that require follow-up that were missed by the radiologist. 
But the other interesting thing that we found out in this, uh, in this uh, trial is that we actually detected 1,600 extra cases, but we didn't alert on them because we saw that they were already reported by the radiologists. So think about two different systems. One is a system alerting 1,800 times, so 200 is a good catch. But 1,600 is just redundant. It just overloads the radiologists that are already overloaded. So we managed by adding this text analysis to take off all the gray area that we put aside. So instead of sending, let's say, 10 alerts a day, we only send one. So there's favorable return to all stakeholders. If we're talking, let's say, about a private hospital in the US, okay, they're revenue driven. A patient that needs follow-up care and doesn't get it, that's loss of revenue to the hospital because these patients might need some more imaging, maybe some consultation, a biopsy or whatever. And if they don't get it, that's loss of revenue to hospitals. If we're talking about public health systems or the payers, insurance companies, they're also very interesting in early detection because early, dete early stage cancer is far cheaper to treat than late stage cancer. So everybody is happy, and the, most importantly, the patients are happy because the outcome is much better when detected early. So the main milestones of IMEDIS, we were, we were founded at the beginning of 2018. About four months later, we had our first seed investment from Sanar Ventures. Iran is here with me from Sanar Ventures. Uh, we installed our POC platform at UC San Diego and Ichilov, the Tel Aviv Medical Center in Israel. Uh, we finalized our FDA pre-submission for the first uh, indication that will hopefully come in uh, during 2020. Uh, we completed the trial at UC San Diego that we just talked about. We filed a PCT patent exactly on this combination between text and vision analysis. And uh, just lately, we signed a collaboration agreement, an R&D collaboration agreement with Tel Aviv Medical Center and Hillel Yaffa Medical Center in Israel to develop more and more uh, applications together. When we look in competition, we differentiate ourselves in three different levels. Firstly, our philosophy is different. We believe that radiologists are here to stay. They're very good in what they do. They're much more than finding detectors. They have a lot of medical knowledge behind them. They're the only ones who are able to take all these findings and put them into a report that makes sense uh, for the referring physician. But we believe in augmenting and making them better radiologists than already are by the usage of AI. And we can do that because we're the only company that combines vision and text analysis, enabling us to pinpoint and, and help radiologists with AI when they actually need it and not when they don't need it. And we're also the only company that chose as a clinical vertical, we focus only on early stage findings that are non-symptomatic and very rarely the reason why the CT was done. So our business model is actually a SaaS for a modular system with different, uh, a few uh, software packages, uh, clinical packages, one software package for chest indications, another one for the ab abdominal uh, application, and a third one for cardiovas uh, cardiovascular package, and the cost will be according to the capacity of the hospital. So if we're talking about uh, return of investment, so just an example of, let's say, a medium-sized private hospital in the US doing something like 50,000 CTs every year with a very conservative assumption that our platform will add 4% of those to uh, follow-up care with an average expenditure of around $1,500 a year, we save about $3 million uh, a year for this kind of center for a system that costs about a tenth of that. So together me, with me and the founding team, we have Aviel Blumenfeld, the CEO, who is not here because his wife is expecting any moment, and uh, Tomer Glotman, our board member. The three of us have over 10 years of experience in R&D and leadership positions in uh, digital health companies. We also have Jonathan Balcom, our medical director. He's a practicing radiologist in Israel and in the US. And on our clinical advisory board, we are very privileged to have two very senior American radiologists, Professor Larry Tenenbaum from Radnet and Professor Lincoln Berland from the ACR. I would like to thank you very much.